So you want to boost your productivity using AI from the comfort of your phone and you're not sure where to start, well you click the right video. I'm going to show you three apps right now that will boost your productivity straight off the charts and maybe you can drink less of these or maybe you can drink more, get more done. <laughs> So before we get into the video, I just want to let everybody know all these are free. You can use all these right now for free. They all have a free version. Free, free, free. <laughs> no, but let's jump straight into it. I don't want to waste your guys' time. Too many people on YouTube wasting people's time. So number one, number one, you already know, chat GPT. Let me load it up, load it up. So we are loaded. Now I've done a video recently that I'll leave link somewhere, maybe at the end of the video or up here or wherever. But it has a new chat bot that's super conversational, super nice. I did, I explained more about it in that video. But what you guys might not know is with ChatGPT, if you look here, you can see that it has a bunch of things already for you. It has help me pick an outfit, suggest fun activities, write an email, suggest recipes. You can have ChatGPT do all that for you and more. It's really unbelievable. For example, I'll say write me an email from local plumbers for backflow testing. Write an email to request quote for local plumbers for backfill testing. I need it done in the next two weeks. Keep it as short and casual. This is perfect for someone like me because I work construction. So the fact that it already has that is kind of wild because it probably knows I work construction already. So it's showing me things that I can do. It says, hi, plumber's name. You insert the name. I'm looking to get backflow testing done at my property and would like to request a quote. Ideally, I'd like it to have this completed within the next two weeks. Could you let me know your availability and pricing? Thanks in advance. Your name, contact info. That's one use case. Let's go back. Let's open another one. ChatGPT. How about, you know, I've been slacking in the gym lately. Let me see. How about create a workout plan for resistance training? You know, someone snapped up. My shoulder's a little snapped up. So starting resistance training with instructor balance and getting a gradual approach is a great idea. The following seven day plan includes basic exercises to help you build strength and endurance without overwhelming your muscles. The plan balances working out different muscle groups, incorporating rest days. Sounds super good already. Gives me day one full body introduction, day two lower body focus, day three upper body, day four rest day. So it has three days, one off. That's super good already. I can tell you that from experience. Full body workout, day six, tips for success. It even gives you little tips for success. Unbelievable, unfathomable. You get the picture, that's number one. In any category, chat GPT, number one for productivity. You can do it in any use case, whether it's from construction all the way down to fitness, and don't even get me started on coding and productivity for coding. I'm gonna do a video on coding in the future. There's a few things I wanna code, including the website and everything, probably for this channel, for AI stuff in the future. So I'm excited to do all that, but ChatGPT, first app on this list. An app you guys might not know about is my number two app for productivity, and that is Otter. It is spelled O-T-T-E-R. And this app blows my mind to this day. It's amazing. So basically what it is, I'll get the screen recording going, is it's an AI app that allows you to record conversations, record meetings by clicking this little button right here. And it will record the whole meeting you have. It will transcribe the whole meeting you have. And it will leave a summary. It will leave comments. It'll, it'll categorize the speakers one speak not by name, but it'll categorize one through how many are there. And what it'll do is summarize everything for you, transcribe it. It'll record the whole conversation back and forth. So there's never any miscommunication. There's never any issue where he said type dealio. It saved my butt already. I can tell you with construction, it saved my butt when it comes to someone saying something they didn't or vice versa it's already been a huge help for me and my productivity and uh, so i'm gonna hit pause on this and show you the whole transcription so that was me just talking now saves the note earlier note i can categorize it later or whatever and uh, here's the summary i click here here's the transcript it already has the transcript ready for me and it's all right there as you can see everything we just talked about I can leave comments, I can ask it a question. Let me ask it. I've never done this where I asked it a question. What was this about? According to the conversation context, 
This was about an AI assistant that can record and transcribe entire meetings, providing a summary, categorizing speakers, and helping to avoid miscommunication or disputes about what was said. The key points are the AI assistant records all the few meetings. See, this thing's unbelievable. And a summary, this was a quick conversation. Summaries are generated for longer meetings, so that's even better. So it's used for longer meetings. Matter of fact, I have a, a longer meeting that I, got, I can show you guys real quick. So here's the summary. The speaker design, uh, discussed the design and construction of a wall frame focusing on the importance of using a structural grade plywood, blah, yeah. outline. Speaker to suggest using structural grade plywood for double sided, blah, stuff you guys probably don't really care about. Here's the transcription. It has the recording right here. I'll skip to the center and play a little bit of it. Or well, let me skip. Oh no, you're going there and listen and it'll give me all the numbers. Skip to the center. You guys can hear some of the stuff that the architect and all of them were discussing. So it was me talking to the um, analyzing it, but for our purposes it's not really engineer. So pretty much in I was talking to them about weight and the, the weight distribution for lathe and plaster, all that good stuff. So as you can see, this is a must have. If you're talking to a lot of people on the day to day, if you're doing a lot of Skype meetings or you work in cells and you're doing a lot of meetings, this will remind you who you're talking to and so you don't get lost in the sauce, so to speak. But that's why Otter is number two on my list. Super useful. Honestly, now I want to know what I would do without it at this point because there's been so many times where it saved my butt on materials to use and little arguments between what somebody said and what somebody didn't say. It's been huge. Highly recommend it. Download it right now. Do it. It's worth it. Moving on to app numero 13. The third and final app to boost your productivity is called My Mind. And this one, I love this app so much, but it has features on here that I haven't even explored yet. So I might even explore a little bit of them right now, just to show you. Pretty much what this app is, is it categorizes everything that you find on the internet, emails, YouTube videos, articles, and it lets you put them into pretty much like a second mind. So let me dive into the app and see what I've been saving. I, I don't even know. So it's looking like, wait a second. Right out of the gate, it's looking like I got some music on there. I got some plans right here. Some plans for a remodel. Remodel. Got some Amazon password stuff. I got the Star Wars game on there. I think I played that, but can't remember. So I got 36 books right there. Once you know it. Productivity, communications, finance, the art of everyday assertiveness. Got some YouTube videos. But what I wanted to check out with this is these things on the bottom. So this is called spaces. This is maybe what you need is in some spaces. Create a new space. Space is a collection of cards inside your mind. Upload directly into a space or pick a card. So this helps you categorize it better, like I was saying. So let me just say construction. Boom, click next step, pick a color. Let's go red, finish. Space is empty. So it's here. So I could put photos in there. So next time I save something, I can save it directly to the space. That's super cool. Now there's also this category on the side. It says keep or forget. Oh, it's kind of like those dating apps, man. You could keep or forget it. I'm gonna keep that because I love that song. This medal I still need for what we're working with. So I'm gonna keep that. 36 books to master six skills. Yep. This was a meme coin that I was looking at. I don't really need any more, I'll forget that. YouTube video, how to frame wall 16 on center. Why not, I like showing that to people that I work with. Yep, keep that book, still gotta read it. How to be a better carpenter. Yep, send that to my brother. <laughs> forget this. So as you can see, this is already keeping me productive while I'm making this video. Unbelievable app. So it's like a personal library is the best way I can describe my mind. Let's you save everything you're interested in, anything you've come across, cool ideas, articles, YouTube videos, the whole nine yards. For me, I just use it for keeping track of stuff I want to revisit later. So there you have it. These three apps will 100% increase your productivity in any field. Chat GPT for quick answers and brainstorming, Otter for capturing important meetings, and my mind to organize anything you come across or anything you have currently. These things keep me productive every single day. And that's what my AI videos are about. 
real case scenarios and to see if these actually will help you with whatever you got going. And here's the thing, I use a lot of AI tools and apps beyond these three. If you're curious about more apps that can help you with your daily life or your business, hit that like button and let me know in the comments down below. I'm thinking about doing a deeper dive into all the AI apps that I use and that I see make life easier. Trust me, I got more than I could count. I'm a nerd when it comes to AI. I keep up on all the latest AI trends. I know Meta, Apple, Amazon, they all have their, their keynotes and I be peeping all of them. It's pretty wild. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.